my kids were babies. And Ben, my, my son who's got the diagnosis of autism, was at his height of some of his accelerated behaviors. Um, there were days when I literally was not sure how I was going to make it sane through the rest of the day. So I would literally have to take breaks and just go into the bathroom or the car and turn on the radio to hear God speak to me and, and just kind of talk me off this ledge of despair. You know, how are we going to make ends meet? How am I going to have the energy to do this? How, I don't, I'm not getting any sleep. How am I going to function and be good to these kids? I mean. You name it, we were going through it. Thank you. Um, thanks, thanks for sustaining us. Thank you for uh, keeping me sane. <laughs> um, thanks for spending time with me in the middle of the night. When I was up with babies by myself. Thanks for talking me off the ledge. Thanks for reminding me that um, God can and will do exceedingly abundantly. Um, and in the, in the middle of the valley, I can't see that by myself because the walls are too high on either side. But thanks for extending your hand down into the valley and pulling me up so that I could have perspective to see that there's better and higher and greater ahead, that it, we don't stay in the valley because that's what it means, that's what it does. It's, it's like a hand up uh, of encouragement and love that says, you know, I got you covered right now. I know where you're at, but I'm gonna cover you for this time being. <laughs>